Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Russian Fishing 4, and it is a rainy, rainy, thunderstorm in the morning, and I'm over here by my one fishing spot for carp that was told to me that this is also a great, awesome place to catch tanch, if I went to the right side of it. I hope you can hear me guys, but there's a lot of noise from these, this thunder here going on. So we're going to give a little bit of attempt here to see if we can't get us some tench since morning is waning on here. Let me go ahead and get things set up here. Let me go ahead and get my first feeder up. And I'm going to put the good old save all for tench. We're going to put the cheese on here well I can't find a place to put it down there we go all right let me go ahead and get the other one out here that was hysteria. Now I'm going to throw this one out. Barely throw it out at all. We'll just put it right there. Because now i got to find a place to put it down. There we go. Alright. And then we're going to go ahead and get the first rod set up. Which, if I'm not mistaken, I need to, to re-set up here. If I'm, yeah, I had a very large fish take it down, so I might have to go ahead and go with the Sorrento. So, for now, We're going to put the Sorrento on its place. I'm going to have to get, the, get that reef set up. It seems like a lot of times these guys go for the maggots as well. We'll set that up as that. There we go. Well, we got everything set up. It is a nasty, nasty storm going on, guys. I don't know how well we're going to do, but we're going to give it a try, despite the weather. And we're already doing well. I don't know what this is, but it is hell-bent to take it down. Alright, let's get it in. Hopefully it's a good-sized tinch. I'm going to turn up the friction brake just a little bit. Yep, it's a tinch, alright. Whoa, there you go, guys. 1.668 kilogram. I've got the XP bonus tipsy as well, too. So that's pretty cool. Thank you for... Whoa, are you kidding me? Yeah, I am really going to thank this person in person for this spot. Well, I guess he gave up on it. Shoot. Oh, no. I have the wrong rod. Damn. Sorry about that. This is a... Holy crap. I definitely... I've got a great spot here, guys. And it was... Ah! Oh, he got away. He got away. Damn it. Bugger got away. Oh, 
All right, guys, we've got us another bite. I did turn the sound up a little bit to see if you can hear me over this thundering and lightning. Let's see what we got here, guys. Eh, not a bad common roach. Let's just sing back out there again. We've got us another bite. I'll tell you, this is... And he's taking off with it. <laughs> Let me at least get this set up. Calm down, calm down. Ooh. This one's pretty decent sized. Right. Good lord, I'm getting a bite on the other one already. Jeez. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Let me get this one in first. 10.55. Another nice tench. Yep, guys, this is a great, great tench spot. Looks like the rain is slowing down just a tad. Thank goodness. Alright. You know, this isn't as big as I thought it was going to be. Well, maybe it is. He's... Now, here he comes. I think it's yet another tench, guys. Yep. Come here. He's a little smaller. But still, not a bad one. Not bad at all. Yeah, the tench bring in quite a bit of XP, which I really like. And their cash for them is really high as well. All right, looks like the rain has pretty much stopped. We are not doing bad, guys. We've got full thing here. I don't know if this is another tinch, but it sure would be nice to add to the pile. Come on. What do we got here? I don't think this is a tench. I think this is a common cart, guys. Yep. Yep. Almost three kilograms. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, it's coming partly sunny so we may be seeing a drop in the tench biting well the rainy weather couldn't last forever but I tell you the rainy weather seems to be awesome awesome fishing for tench if you happen to get a good rainstorm especially a thunderstorm as you saw so we're just gonna keep an eye make sure these are all taut all right let's just give it a little little time yeah the Sorrento is just not really strong enough for some of these fish I'm gonna switch over to the starling stick Plus, the feeder rods have not been getting as many bites now. The sun had come out just a few minutes ago. and Go ahead and set this. Yeah, I usually set my lead for these guys either at 60 or a meter. If I'm going for tench, we're going to go for a meter here. But... Yeah, if you want to go for something like perch or chub, sometimes 25 inch, 25 inches, 25 centimeters is good. Anyway, I'm trying to decide if I want to stay here or if I want to do it on the other side. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to go ahead and keep the cheese on this. Put it right out there. 
we'll give it a shot over here in the um, deck weed first see how well that does and if it doesn't do anything we'll move it in a little bit now it's just a matter of waiting everything about fishing guys is about patience all right we've had some activity and the fish managed to drag it all the way over here but he hasn't really taken it so he keeps doing that well, I guess I got him I'll be damned wasn't I, I wasn't I was sure that it was a tench a little bitty bleak That's a decent sized hook for a bleak, I tell you. Yeah, I had switched over from the cheese to the to the maggots. Yeah, I've caught tinch off the maggots pretty well, but I know that with the sunny weather, or partly cloudy weather, that Tench are going to be a little bit harder to catch right now. But we might be able to get some chubs. We might be able to get, well, obviously we got a bleak. Maybe some common roach. Well, let's see what happens. Alright, we got a bite now. This is acting like a carp. Yeah, I think it's a carp. Not a crucian. Probably a probably a gibble. Yep, I think that's what it is. Let me see. Uh, there we go. Yep, gibble carp, 178. It's not too bad. Yeah, everything kind of switched once that weather changed. But I tell you guys, this is a great tench spot, and I will be back, believe me, to do some more grinding here. Especially if it's raining. Thought I saw something messing with that. And... Alright guys, it's getting a little bit late here. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. I've been fishing here a while. So I'm going to go ahead and pack up the gear and take over there and see what I got for my fish. I got four, at least four decent sized tench. Pretty decent sized gibble carp and a regular common carp. I think the rest are going to be a little bit on the small side to get any cash, so... But we'll go see how we how we did. Yeah, I, I like that spot, and I want to thank. Um, I know Sleepy Mercy was one of the people that mentioned it, and I'm gonna have to look up the other person that mentioned it. But I'll be sure to put it at the end of the video. Uh, shout out to you guys! But I do thank you for telling me about that spot really really is a great spot for tench I always want to check the cafe well I'll be darned I have I have one to qualify well, actually I have more than one that qualifies that's gonna get me 15 more than 15 silver might as well give him the smallest one not bad that's why you always check the cafe, guys. Uh, it doesn't look like I've got anything else here. I think everything, the common roach is a little bit small. That tench down there, I mean, that would be an amazing tench to catch. 
Let's go ahead and sell the rest of these guys and yeah, see? Push them around seven silver. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I think that was a good day's work. Go ahead and get them all selected. Not too bad, guys. That got us quite a few silver. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. I know I did. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Russian Fishing 4. And always remember, guys, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.